Beirut, Lebanon. Man alive. What a disaster. What a... What a depressingly unavoidable consequence of a chain of people not giving a bollock. I've read I've read a little bit about it. Turns out turns out a ship came to the port of Beirut and it had on board all this ammonium nitrate. And and it sounds like it's actually it was ammonium nitrate, so it was ammonium nitrate, which can be used in fertilizers, explosives, blah, blah blah blah. You know, it has many uses. You know, this one being to bring total and utter economic ruin to a, a country that's already it's already on the back foot. But yeah, so this boat arrives, with all this stuff and all this clobber, all this all this ammonium nitrate on board. And they must have done some, some, had a look at the boat and decided, that boat's not safe. That boat ain't safe. And we need to take all that stuff off that boat, because it's not safe. And the re the crew of the boat were repatriated, and all the stuff were taken off it, and just stored in a way, and you just stuck it in a corner of a warehouse. No, I just stick it over there, but eat. Stick it over there, stick it over there with fire lighters, but eat. And this is years, by all accounts. I think seven years been there. So much so that the the boat itself was, you know, the, oh that boat's dangerous. We can't, you know, did, it were moored up for a length of time. It were moored up for that long that the owners just abandoned it. Don't forget who got all that shit in the warehouse. What you what? Yeah, there's a, uh, about three thousand ton of. Uh, Ammonium nitrate in there. Just left there. <coughs> 2,750 tonnes is the latest, latest thing I've read. That's 2.75 kilotons. If ammonium nitrate, when mixed correctly, has a similar explosive yield to TNT, then on the international scale of shit exploding, that's 2.75 kilotons. It's the 6th of August today, the anniversary of... Uh, the first operational use of a nuclear weapon on the city of Hiroshima. Hiroshima. Quarter past eight in the morning. Detonated above the city. Above the city. Because that, that creates more blast damage if you do air burst. Because the blast comes down from the ice and then and then bounces back off up the off the floor. So you get like a you get a compound shockwave moving out from the blast. At the centre of the you know, ground zero. Well, you know that that's a plus point. At least all that stuff in in Beirut were on ground. But yeah, you know, just left in a warehouse, and then, Nash, you're on international news. Yeah. The device that flattened Hiroshima was 15 kilotons. Well, no, depends. Depends what reports you read, anywhere between 12 and 20 kilotons, I've seen. But anyway, you know, so that thing in Beirut with 2.7 kilotons, just think about that. You can get warheads on cruise missiles. The old Tomahawk cruise missile, I don't even know if they're still operational. They, they could have warheads at like 200 kilotons. You can fly them things in through your front door. Just let that sink in. 200 kilotons. Straight at your door. Tough. You're no longer there. You're not there anymore. If you're somebody, if you're somebody that the powers that be want to get rid of, you're gone. Oh, a gas explosion. I'm not saying that that's what's happened in, in, in Beirut. I am of the opinion that, yeah, you know, oh, we'll just store that stuff in a warehouse. <laughs> And forget about it. Ooh, did you remember it? Yeah. Fucking hell. 